Hello, Cancers. Welcome to your weekly love reading for the week of... Well, just so you know, I did shuffle before the week of March 20th, 2021. So that was the angel answer card. And that's the one that's going to either answer your question at the end or become a part of the reading. Sometimes both. So let's see here. A romance angel card for Cancerians. Can I get a romance angel card? Well, okay then. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Wow. So what's going on, Cancers? Sorry, I have to drink some water. Pardon me. So, codependency. That's funny, I said I had to drink. Bad joke, my apologies. So, codependency can speak to, I know a little bit about codependency. You make excuses for others' bad behavior. And it's not good because in the end, it makes you responsible for things that you aren't responsible for. And you shouldn't have taken responsibility for to begin with. But you do it because you want to be helpful and caring like Cancerians are. But it doesn't do any good for you. So... I believe this is uh, this this reading is about you coming to terms with this. Okay, let's get some tarot cards for Cancerians. Okay. Okay, I'm getting stopped, so I'm gonna stop. And we're going back to the old way where I have another set of uh, cards, another deck. Excuse me. So, if I want or if I feel the need, we can get more cards. Oh, how perfect. The Six of Swords. See, you're working on this. You're, you're getting away from codependency. That's wonderful. And the good news is, it's not just you. I, I feel like, being that I see the, the two people here, you're doing it together. And there's a child. So this is not just you doing it alone. I think that the person that you're in the codependent relationship with, I think they're doing it also. Like this is not just you working on your codependency. This is you working with someone else, which is really good because with the Six of Swords, things are gonna get better. Page of Wands. It's a new passionate start. You know, you've already got the flicker and uh, could be a younger person uh, fire sign coming in for you too or maybe it's a younger fire sign that you're dealing with in this codependent relationship uh, fire signs would be Aries Leo and Sagittarius and the Hierophant wow you know what the Hierophant is right this is one of those marriage cards for me here's the two people here's the Pope he's marrying them <laughs> so you are on the path with someone who you may be with for a very long time, Cancerians. I think that's awesome. The Hierophant. Oh, he's associated with the sign of Taurus. You could be dealing with a Taurian. Taurian. Symbolizes the Pope, spiritual father, the Trinity, mind, body, spirit. How appropriate with codependency. You need to get all that together so you stop helping others and bringing yourself down. Represents organized religion, mercy, compassion, and indicates a need for approval and conformity. Well, I would say if you're in a codependent relationship, you do need to uh, conform to some extent because you don't want to maintain a codependent relationship. It just, there's no good in the end. Wow, I like this. This is good. This is good. You know, I think that relationships, sometimes people looking on the outside may say, oh, it's such a, 
you know, you shouldn't do this or you shouldn't do that. He's this or she's that. And I think that what you're reading is really saying, Cancer, is that you're with someone who wants to work together. I don't really want to take all those cards, but let's see what happens here. Ha, huh, Knight of Pentacles. It's not going to be a quick trip. This is not going to be a quick fix. This is going to be something that you're going to be doing for a long time, which makes sense because, I mean, codependency doesn't end tomorrow just because you say, I'm working on it. It's done, you know. But the Wheel of Fortune says that you've got things in motion and it is going to get better. You could be dealing with, what do we say about a younger fire sign? Leo's here. The Hierophant is the Taurus. There's also a Taurus, a bull here. So this is, this is things moving forward slowly. what I say? Somebody wanted to work together. Three of Pentacles. This is teamwork. This is someone who you can make a life with. This per this is your wish fulfillment. And then you have the King of Swords. The King of Swords could be a person. Could be an air sign. The King of Swords. Uh, I like this. I do like this. Okay, let's 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 go back here again. Prime for action, weapon ready, pauses to weigh the situation. Highly analytical, often pursuing a career in pub law publishing. Leadership is unquestioned. To me, this means if this is really your your deal and you're in a codependent relationship with somebody, things are gonna get better because you guys are gonna work on a team together. It's not gonna be easy. It's gonna be a long road, but in the end, it's going to work out. It's, it's, it, you, this is your wish fulfillment. Cancerians, this is wonderful. This is someone that you could actually end up marrying. And if you're not interested in getting married, committed relationship, however you choose. You ready for your answer? Communicate clearly. How perfect this King of Swords. You're communicating clearly, working on a team. How do you work on a team? You communicate clearly. How do things get better? How do you get out of codependency? You talk about it, you work on it together. I love it. Cancerians, good luck. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, you take care of you. Good luck. Thank you. Bye.